What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is going to be the first episode of the I Rate Your Team series in NBA 2K24, my team a lot. Actually, no, it's going to be the second episode, actually. It will be the second one. Either way, though, this is going to be the Christmas edition a lot, as you guys can see from the old, uh, from the old Christmas, uh, well, snow right here currently like 2 a.m my time i got this video another video out and then i'm gonna get a nice sleep today because obviously a little bit later with videos because i've spent the day with my family and only really started work at midnight or during like a half an hour during the day either way if you guys are new to the channel subscribe we are trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the day we are 37 off so we're gonna be very very close but anyway now let's get on to the teams lads so first up from Blasian Ricks right here is a team. I hate Ray. I don't, Ray Allen's a weird one. Like when you have Andre Iguodala, Ray Allen's a very weird one. So I'm guessing if he has Ray Allen, he has run our test. But I, is it safe to assume that Penny Hardaway is there? I'm trying to think who the other diamond is for Penny. It's David Robinson. So like if I'm him, Is it all? Is that an auctionable Ray Allen? Either way, if I'm him, I'm trying to get David Robinson, and I would can strongly consider locking him for Penny Hardaway, because David Robinson is as good as Hakeem Olajuwon is. David Robinson's great, but at the same time, he bought Mobley. Did he buy Mobley? Let me look at this team. Are any are they a lot of these unauctionable or something? Am I missing something? Okay, so Mobley's unauctionable. Obviously, Giannis is locked in. I still would maybe consider getting David Robinson, but it's not the end of the world. This is that backup shooting guard position. Heck, I would use Brandon Miller over Ray Allen. I honestly would. Uh, other than that, the team is like a solid 8.59 out of 10. Shout out Matt Mojo doing something else with his day other than playing 2K. If only a lot of us, other of us had the foresight for that. But, uh... Unfortunately, as someone who doesn't know the first thing about the old American hand egg football, um, which doesn't really involve kicking, I'm going to focus on basketball sport that I play. Either way, um, Shea Gilds Alexander, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant. Really good team from Bish. So Ambish obviously has a really nice team right here. He's got Dave Robinson. He's got Wemby. He's got Kobe. Uh, I would probably... I'm not a fan of Lamelo. A lot of people like that Lamelo. I'd probably, like, there's no reason to have Embiid there. Like, Nick Claxton for 10k is significantly better than that Embiid. If you do want a third string center. Um, Giannis obviously is really good. There's no point getting a better Giannis. I might put our test in, but other than that, don't think you can really get much better than that with the team that he has. Okay, I want to see, like, a... Oh, wow. First started playing my team three days ago. I now... Okay, so I see the VC. So he's obviously spent money. He's now got Kobe, Pink Diamond, Wembenyama, Jimmy, um, and Lamelo Ball. So Halliburton being the starting point guard is wild. Like other than that, obviously I'm guessing Kobe's in for Ray. Um, Wemby, I don't even know who Wemby's in for. Obviously the guy did spend quite a lot of money on this game. There's no way you're getting this game free in three days. Or these squad free in three days, but a really, really nice team right here. I'll say, like, if I'm giving it out of 10, I'll give like a 8 out of 10. I just want to see, I want to see a team that's just like a normal ass team. Like, even this is a really good team. So I'm guessing he's all these Evo to their max. And this is still a pretty good team. So obviously, the John Wall was from the Christmas code. Maybe? No, actually, this was sent in before the Christmas code. So he's got the Evo. I actually really like starting five. You've got a top five power forward in Mobley. You've got a top five one three combination in the Evo. Or is that an Evo in the duo? He's got Swaggy P. And he's got a big interior. If he's good with insides, really good bears, great. And at the same time, if he does want to run more of a pick and pop lineup, he can just bring Bobby Portis into the starting lineup. Kawhi Leonard's super good. Um if you were able to lock him up for cheap, even that Kawhi Leonard's great. Brad and Roy's great. I like Wall. And Derek White and Vando evoed up are really, really good. So, this is still like an 8.5 out of 10 team. 
it is just a pity. Like, I remember when I first started making these videos in NBA 2K20, there were an awful lot of bad squads. Like, the casual fan base was more prevalent. Because you can see here in all of these squads. Like, this squad right here, have 200k to upgrade. The one player I would upgrade is Paolo Bancaro. Like, Bancaro is not even as good as Uri Hachimura, if we're being honest. Bancaro is not as good as Kyle Kuzma. He shows Marcus Saul over Jaron Jackson Jr. But I'm trying to think of what power forwards you guys can get for like for 200k. Um, what my advice would be if you are willing to spend the 200k is Dave Robinson. Look, I don't know how long um, it's going to take to get Dave Robinson, or say how long it's going to take to uh, make that MT back. I also don't know how long it's going to take for a card to outclass David Robinson. Especially that's a non lock in because obviously we know yeah, it's probably going to be a lock in. Um, but I would say David Robinson is probably the move because you can get David Robinson in, you can move Wilt to your bench, and you can start Nick Claxon at the four. Like that would be what I would personally do. It gives you some length. You've got a great one, two, three combo as well, um, as well as a bench that's really, really good. So Iguodala locked in means he has, you have PJ Tucker. Like, I would even put LMA in the team over uh, Marcus Saul because LMA is a great popper. So, yeah, that's what I would personally do. A lot of people saying to get AD, I would much rather get David Robbins. I think David Robbins is a better player. But at the same time, Anthony Davis is not a bad option at all. If you want to get Anthony Davis to replace Bancaro, but unless you're the biggest Magic fan in the world, Bancaro is probably not somebody that I would use. So, again, almost all these. Okay, limited MT haven't really played since October. Trey Young. Ooh. Trey Young's got to go. Like you've got the duo on your bench. Move Brandon Miller to your bench. Because I'm guessing if you have Michael Jordan, you like Jordan, don't want to get rid of him. So I would move that duo to your starters. And Trey Young has got to go. Like Dyson Daniels. Even if you have limited MT, Dyson Daniels is a half an unlimited game. Like I would get Dyson Daniels. I would get Giannis out of that team. And I would say, oh, get the new free Giannis from the locker code. But, like, it's worse than that card, and he didn't get an Evo. So, I would move. I'd probably get rid of Giannis. Maybe if you want to keep Giannis, keep him at the end of the bench. As far as cheap centers go, you know what? Jared Allen's great. I would put Jared Allen in a center. I would grind a little bit, and if you could manage to get yourself Tari Eason, Tari Eason works a power forward. I'd move Jalen Brown to the three. I would then put Brandon Miller at the two. Just because Jalen, because you get the height advantage with Brandon Miller more so than Jalen Brown. And then as your backup point guard, I'd probably use Dyson Daniels. Or if you like running through Brandon Miller, Jeremy Sowen's pretty good, but a lot of them are better than Trey Young. Trey is a very, very tough player to use. Like if you're an offline player, Trey Young's great, but if you're an online player, he's really not up to much. Oh, wow. You've got the Dame. You've got the Dame. I'm not a big fan of the Dame, I'm not going to lie. I don't think he's the greatest card in the world. But if you have success with him, more power to you. Um, he's an offline god. It's just playing with him online. He can be very well easily targeted. If you are specifically looking for advice, like, look, if you, Dame's your favorite player and you want to use Dame, keep Dame, trust me. But if you're looking for advice for the best team, I would probably move, again, I would move the bench backcourt to your starting backcourt. Like a five of Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Lou Aldang, Claxton, and David Robinson isn't that far off the best five in the game. And I like having Jared Allen at the end of the bench if you need more shooting for Wilt. Scotty can still do a job. I don't think Scotty's a bad player at all. I think he can do a job. But I would replace Hondo with Bilal Kulabali. Um, you've got Donovan Mitchell who works perfectly as a point guard. But if you really don't, like if I was making the best team possible, I'd put Dyson Daniels. Replace Dame with Dyson Daniels and use Dame, Dyson as your backup point guard and keep um, Thing as one of your last three. Keep Donovan Mitchell and get Dame out of the team. But if you want to keep Dame, then that is all good as well. Oh, we're at 2K21. Remember these days? I love that game. Actually, to be fair, I didn't really love that game, but it was better than this game. Okay, this team right here got 30k MT and the weird thing is with 30k MT you can do a lot so players you need to replace you need to get like what I would do is I like you can't if you're on a budget not have the Franz Wagner and um, Jalen Suggs duo 
So find a way to get that in the game. So what I would do is I would get Dominique out of the team. That's what I personally do. Is I'd get Dominique out of the team. I would bring Russell Westbrook to the bench. I'd move Gerald Walls to the three, Jalen Green to the two, and just go like two-headed monster with your two guards. Because I like the Shangoon in a power forward. So I would move Westbrook to the bench. And then I would start Franz at the three. I'd play Suggs at the one. Keep Iggy at the two. And I would probably start... Honestly, I would... I'd use Jaron Jackson Jr. at the four. And then I would play... Oh, I don't know what way I would do it. So I, I like using three of his four players at the four. The only player that I like at the five is Claxton. I'd probably start Claxton, but Jaron Jackson Jr. is pretty good. I, yeah, I would also get. I would also move Wiggins to the last three off the bench. Uh, because I think Gerald Wallace is better than Wiggins. But honestly, he's pretty good. And you got a nice duo in there with not too much to spend. But I would use 20k on Franz and Suggs. Okay, this is a very, very weird team. You've got Darius Garland at the two, and you've got Guido, and you've also got Joe Dumars in the team. So you've got 3,000 MT to work with. Um, what I would advise you to do is to build up, spend a couple of hours playing the game, build up about 30,000 MT. If you can build up 30,000 MT, you've obviously got Suggs in your, on your bench. Okay, so... Build up thir about 30k. Get Garland as far away from that team as possible. Get Hito as far away from that team as possible. Um, like, look, this is not 2019. Hito's not that guy anymore. I'd move Kuz to the four. I would buy, I'd find a way to get Nick Claxton. Like, guys, you need if you're on a budget. Like, you need Nick Claxton. And I would honestly fill, around, fill the rest of the team with, like, your Balal Kulabalis. Your like a Badia could work in this team. I would maybe I probably wouldn't use play PJ Washington. If you want to start him, it's fine uh, because he is very similar to Pettit, who's another great budget option. But like Nick Claxton is a must. He's got to be your starting or your backup center. Move Kuzma to the four. Start the duo. Move Kyrie to the bench. But get Garland. Get Hito. Get Dumars, get J Dub, get Fry, and get Sean Bradley. All those guys as far away from the team as possible. And you gotta fill it up with budget players. And look, you only need about 30k, but it can be done. It can definitely, definitely be done. Okay. These are all God squads, by the way. Look, if you've got a God squad, I'm not gonna be giving any advice because you you know. You know that your team's good. Scroll by your team, and I haven't said anything. It means your team's pretty good. Ray, a lot of people like Ray Allen. I really hate that card. I've seen a few Ray Allens. Like, if you ask me who's better, Ray Allen or Terrence Mann, I'd take Terrence Mann. I like this team, though, other than, like, I don't like Shaq. I don't like Jeremy So in a power forward. Like, I would have other power forwards in that team. So, like, for me, like, I like the duo. I actually really like starting five. But... I would honestly, because you don't have a backup center. Like Nick Claxton's just got to be in that squad. He has like Vando. Vando's Vando, but Nick Claxton's got to be there. Get rid of Reggie Jackson. Get rid of Malik Monk. There's no need for them. Like, and then go and get yourself. Even if you like Sohan, I don't think he's the greatest. He's not bad though, actually. Like, Jar if you get Jared Allen and Nick Claxton, it means that you can you've got a lot more versatility if you end if you use your last three guys at the bench as jared allen nick claxton and dyson daniels it means you have a lot more versatility as far as this team goes and you've got a third point guard heck if you don't want dyson daniels you want maybe more of a defensive player um you can put in shane battier and you can move france to the two and battier to the three of your starting lineup but you do need guys that might be able to spread the floor at the center position with a bit more size than Jared Vanderbilt. And that is what I would go with right there. Anything else? Any other weak squads or are we done? Not a lot of good squads. Some squads that didn't need a bit of work, but 
obviously team building is getting pretty good when it comes to my team so hey, that is the video this is the christmas edition of i rate your themes thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe